30 some games in a row down in there. So, but I'll tell you this the last guy out of town turned the lights out because it was that important. It was, a, it was the center of the community. Everybody loved football. We were good, and everybody went to the game. But I was important. And they used to stand behind me and say, I've got 50 on the game, but we got to win by 50. So we'd be ahead 49 to nothing. And they say, you got to go to one more time. You know? So I went by 50 bucks. So the quarterback always has more pressure on him than anybody else. And you always get more credit sometimes when things go well than you deserve. Not that John Parker doesn't deserve every bit of credit that he's got for any success that he's had. But you also get a little more grief uh, than you deserve when things don't go well. Uh, because quarterback is a very, very difficult position to play when the players around you don't play well. And a lot of times John Parker has been blamed for things that people don't understand that other players that he plays with. The other 10 guys, you know, really weren't going to help him. And he's become a tremendous leader. I think he's made a lot better business decisions as a quarterback this year. That's contributed to his passing efficiency being way up, his interception being way down. Uh, and I also think that contributes a lot to our offensive success. And he's very unselfish, and he's a great competitor, and he's done a fantastic job. I defended him all last year, and people did. I was happy for him when he played well in the ball game, and I think that helped set him off to have a great year this year. We, we, we just hope that he continues to have the kind of success uh, with the offense that he's had so far. You always have the final word.